I told you I'd be back. And this time, I brought friends. We've brought together forces from every quadrant of the galaxy. And I know I needed to find allies for this war, ones who you couldn't or wouldn't talk to. The Dominion understands the Iconian threat, and they are quite eager to protect their stake in this galaxy. The Herald ships are regrouping. We should use this respite to our advantage. Form up at the KIS Anorax. We must protect it long enough for it to activate a time portal. Once the portal is stabilized, we can use it to go back to Iconia's past, and hopefully undo this war before it starts. Our situation is desperate. If we fail here, Earth will fall, and Kronos won't have much hope of standing without it. I am arriving with the time sir. We must protect it until the portal is stable. Energizing The time portal is open and stable. Go! Get through that portal! Setting a course now. The heralds are firing on the portal! The portal is destabilizing. Hurry! More gateways! An Iconium flagship is moving in! This is the moment of your extinction. Not today! Everyone, form up and cover our six. There's not to make reply.
theirs not to reason why, theirs but to do and die. Into the valley of death rode the 600. signs of Captain Cogren or his ship. We will have to continue the mission without him. Perfect. This will give us a moment to get our bearings and figure out how best to prevent the Iconians from escaping their doom. There are only 12 Iconians that we've encountered, so trying to deal with just those 12 will be a much easier task than trying to take on this whole world. Greetings of the Hall to you, strangers, and welcome to Iconia. My name is Matara Ren, and I am a herald of Matara. Before I can allow you to pass, I must scan you to ensure that your technology is of a sufficient level for you to be allowed access to our city. This will only take a moment. Your technology is sufficient, but your chroniton particles are substantially out of phase. Please follow me. You must speak to my mistress. Remember why we are here. Every Iconian must die in the bombardment, and their technology cannot be taken. If even one Iconian escapes, this could all be for nothing. I recommend we begin by infiltrating their government building. We need access to their data and the gateway controls. You've seen the ruins of a once mighty empire. This is Iconia at the height of its power. I apologize for the interruption, Honored One. These travelers have just arrived at our city. Their chroniton particles are out of phase. And per your instructions, I have brought them to you. Thank you, Mataran. You may return to your station. Greetings, friends, and welcome to Iconia. It is highly unusual to receive visitors with such unusual chroniton signatures, and yet we have had two in less than a cycle. Do you know a being named Cogram? Wonderful. He will be quite pleased to reunite with you. You should be able to find him in the residential district. I imagine you passed through the same chroniton charge nebula he did. That would account for the anomalous readings. Since you are explorers like Cogram, I suggest you speak to Lemurin. She is the keeper of our world heart, a repository of all knowledge and a genetic record of the worlds we have visited. The astrometrics data in the world heart could prove quite useful to you. Do you have any questions? Our world teems with life, but we were the first to become self-aware. Time is no enemy to us. An Iconian can live thousands of years. But our numbers have always been few, and as the years passed, we understood that would not change. Needing servants and companions, we found a local population that could be molded and shaped to suit our purposes. At first, we used them as beasts of burden, or for tasks that were too difficult or dangerous to do ourselves. I imagine your own species has similar creatures. 
Over the years, machines and technology began to replace many of those functions. And as technology advanced, what we needed from the heralds changed as well. Ultimately, we needed beings who could think for themselves. Our genetic reshapers transformed the heralds from beasts to companions. Now we have achieved a kind of symbiosis. The heralds perform the routine tasks that keep our society moving. We provide leadership, technological advancement, and defense. Our relations with the other species of this region have been contentious for some time. They covet our culture and our technology and refuse to accept their proper place in the order. Now they are threatening to attack. As a precaution, many of our people have departed through the gateways to our colony worlds. Once the others have seen the errors of their ways, and accepted our rule, my people can return. Do you have other questions? Greetings, travelers. Are you explorers, or do you come seeking our wisdom and guidance? Either way, I apologize. I am rather occupied at the moment. Please return later. I should have time to speak to you then. The World Heart is the repository of all our knowledge. It contains the genetic information of every species on Iconia and all of our colony worlds. With it, we can colonize and repopulate an entire world, shaping it to resemble our home in just a few short years. It also holds a record of our culture, history, literature, and philosophy. This is why we call it the World Heart. It is, in a very real way, the center of our civilization. The changes we see in the Iconians are too great to be simple evolution. The Iconians shape themselves and the Heralds into weapons. Genetic engineering that is both efficient and gone wrong as we entered the portal that disrupted synchronization. I arrived two weeks ago. I remained cloaked, scanned the planet for several days, and then came to the surface as an explorer, seeking to open diplomatic relations with the Iconians. My ship is using the magnetic fields above the poles to help conceal its presence. The Iconians of this time are nothing like the ones we know. They are flesh, and appear to be friendly and peaceful, if a bit arrogant with those they see as lesser. Come. They will allow us to move through the city freely. You should see this for yourself. Cogrin is either a fool, or he's being manipulated by the Iconians. Either way, he might jeopardize the mission. We'll need to watch him closely. Someone's calling for help. 
an injured herald. This could be a chance to learn about their physiology, perhaps even find a weakness. Hello, can you help us? My herald is injured, and I cannot leave. I need someone to bring us some healing supplies. Thank you. There should be a healer nearby. Do you require assistance, visitor? Certainly. However, I do not detect any injuries or maladies in your physical form. What do you require? Oh, of course. It is our duty and privilege to care for our heralds. I will follow you to the patient. We'll see who the lesser race is. I have spent days among these people. They are very proud and very strong. Thank you, Traveler. I appreciate your assistance. How do you feel about your creator? The Iconians are parent, teacher, master, friend. They are our rulers and our gods, and I am grateful for their guidance. They give purpose and structure to our lives. We would not exist without them. Exceedingly well. We do what manual labor needs to be done, as well as other tasks. And in return, the Iconians give me all I could need or want. I know it might sound like enforced servitude to you, but I don't see it that way. The Iconians are our beginning and our end. I am nothing without my mistress, and serving her is my greatest joy. The Iconians' affection for their pets is a weakness. We can exploit that. I am not so sure. After all, we've seen how the Iconians will transform their pets. The Heralds are merciless killing machines killed multitudes during this war. Death that we will avenge here. No more waiting. We need to finish our mission. I don't understand why you're bothering to help these people. We need to find the gateway controls, sabotage them, and be done with it. This could all be over if you'd let it. the Iconians have a highly developed sense of... That's fine, but what we need is to know more about their technology. And we're going to... When you have technology as advanced as the Iconians, wonders can be found anywhere you look. We should talk to that officer over there. I see you are interested in this device. We are testing a new method of encryption. So far, it has proven to be most effective. To access the console, you must solve a series of problems that we believe only an Iconian could answer. Unfortunately, I fear the console is stuck in a testing phase, which is why I am protecting it. It may be a waste of time. You appear intelligent enough, but I doubt you or any of our other visitors could solve even the easiest of problems in the algorithm. I am not supposed to leave this area unwatched, but all of my heralds are performing other duties. And if Elmiran sent you, very well. Thank you, Traveler. I will not be long.
Alliance just as I survived. The Iconians are following their own version of the Prime Directive. They are attempting to protect lesser developed species from acquiring technology that they may not use wisely or well. Not so fast. We've only heard one side of the story. I'd like to know what some of the other visitors here think about the Osu. you require, but our genetic engineering technology is off limits. The medicine will help with this plague, but what about the next one? We need the ability to take care of ourselves, but you won't give us the means to do so. I am sorry, but we have extremely stringent rules about who can use our technology. There are many species who are not yet ready to use our gifts safely and wisely. One moment, Falkar. Yes, may I help you? Yes, I will take your opinion under advisement, but ultimately, this is an Iconian matter. You are simply another visitor on our world. We haven't made much headway trying to reverse engineer the gateways. Just imagine what we can do with it. Oh, I have. You can move an army in the blink of an eye. Think about what would happen if all these heralds just showed up on your planet. Oh, they'd take over in a day. I'm still trying to acquire some of their data. Have you had any luck yet? Nothing yet. Despite all their openness and hospitality, the Iconians have everything on lockdown. I can't even get near the building where they keep the world hard without some herald stopping me. If I were the Iconians, I too would think twice about giving people like these advanced technology. This doesn't prove anything. So the Iconians had their reasons for withholding technology. I don't care, and neither do their enemies. We know the bombardment is imminent. This world will be obliterated, no matter how much you sympathize with the Iconians. And don't forget what we're here to do. There can be no survivors. Tell your ships to drop into orbit above the polar region. My ship is cloaked there. Establish the connection, but I need another set of hands to adjust the frequency while I attempt to dial in the proper network levels. All of my heralds are currently working on the evacuation. Would you be willing to help me? Okay. 
patients should be reaching the colonies, but I am not receiving any response to my messages. Something terrible must have happened. We, we were not concerned about the lesser races. Not at first. They were like children who wanted things they could not understand. It was our duty to protect them, to guide them. In time, when they were ready, we would have shared all of our gifts. I... I do not know. If the colony worlds have fallen, then... I am sorry. Please excuse me. I must speak to our leaders. We already know the evacuation did not save them. But the gateway on New Romulus remained active for a time. Then we must cut off that path, now, before anyone escapes. Welcome, Traveler. I apologize for my earlier absence. Do you have questions about our world? We have had contact with many worlds in our journeys, but we have found no people equal to our own. Some of the others resent the blessings our people enjoy. They seek to take that which we will not give. But we have had contact with many worlds in our journeys. Our policy is not to share our technology with species who are not sufficiently advanced to use our gifts wisely. When a society encounters advanced technology before they are ready, they often don't have the cultural or social development to handle it appropriately. This leads to war, genocide, and many other ills. We would protect the younger species from those tragedies. Our people believe, also, that each species has a unique destiny. To disrupt their path toward that destiny is wrong. All of the others must develop in their own time. While we are an extremely advanced world, we are not, in general, a militant one. Tiket will coordinate the defense, but I remain hopeful that we can reach a peaceful solution before blood is shed. Matara speaks for us, and she is quite a gifted diplomat. If all else fails, there are places known only to us and those who serve us. Our gateways can take us to these refuges to recover and rebuild. Will you help us? The attack is beginning. I thought we'd have more time. We must retrieve the world heart and escape. Will you help us? The attack is beginning. We must decide how to proceed. I have spoken to these people, walked their streets, shared their meals. Regardless of what we know they will do in the future, the Iconians of this time are not evil. They are peaceful, and they are guilty of no crimes, worse than standing up for their ideals. The very same ideals, I might point out, as the Federation's prime directive. You have walked the same streets as I, spoken to the same people. Can you allow them to die for crimes they have not yet committed? For my part, I find no honor in cold-blooded murder. It doesn't matter what these people are now. We know what they will become. What they will do. 
The Iconians will destroy my homeworld. They will bomb the Archive in the Lena system and exterminate the Preservers. They will incite the Undine to destroy Kessig 4. They will attack our homeworlds, kill those we love, and threaten our very existence. And that changes nothing. We know what will happen. In our time, they are poised to destroy or enslave the galaxy. There is no choice. We destroy them now and save ourselves. It's a bit late for second thoughts. Our mission is clear. We don't have a choice. We're here and we will do what needs to be done. Atone for your sins after you've saved the galaxy. The world heart contains all of our knowledge and all our genetic data. With it, we can rebuild. We have a refuge built for those who serve us. We shall go there. We should be able to access the gateway network from here. We could disable all of the gateways at... We offered Lemire in our aid. There is no honor in striking down an ally from the high. The honorable thing would be to complete our mission and save our galaxy. Or do you not care about what happens to Kronos? We need to transfer the World Heart to a transportable format. I'll need your help to initiate the download from that console. find us.
that was just the beginning of the violence. My people are few, and most of our heralds are elsewhere. Defeating a significant force would be costly to both sides. I know you are not one of the whole, and I have no right to ask for your assistance. But would you help us evacuate the city?